Miss Thursday show? Here's the RE cap presented by Honda. The stars of Holmes and Watson, Holmes and Watson themselves, Christmas Day, theaters near you, Will Ferrell and John C. Rowley. You are dressed head I, to toe with I, shorts and everything and high, you know, high knee socks. With my AYSO regional patch. How are you as a ref, though, Will? I mean, uh, uh, are you, I mean, are, how do you play it? Well, I kids? am strictly what's called an AR, mm -hmm. uh, assistant referee. So I'm the guy who runs on the sideline with the flag. I don't have the red cards or the yellow cards. Oh. I just call offsides and throw-ins. Can you yellow card a 10-year-old in AYSO? <laughs> I've Can seen you actually... it happen. <laughs> oh, yes. You go, look at that ample thigh. <laughs> look, that's a ham hock yeah, right there. Look at that. That's ready for har that's ready for market. So you um, might want to smoke that for a couple days. <laughs> you guys want to slice? Put some hickory around it. <laughs> Were you aware when Derek Henry scored that 99 yarder that your dad had called Tony Dorsett's just like you had just called Derek Henry? I knew he had called it, but it, when I'm doing the game, I'm kind of in my little bubble there to have there, there only being two in the history of the league and for him to call it on a Monday night in 1983 and me to call it on a Thursday night, it was really cool. Dorsett was going down the right sideline. Henry was going down the left sideline. You lose perspective when you're when he's away on the other far sideline and I thought he had stepped out of bounds or might have. And at one point, my dad says, yeah. you know, Tony Dorsett, he might go he steps out of bounds. No, he didn't step out of bounds, and then he scores the touchdown. And I was so close to saying that same <laughs> thing, but I just stopped. I hesitated just enough to see that the referee or the official was down there letting it go, and, and so I just shut up and let him get into the end zone before I said anything. It's just a great call, Joe. Bruce Aarons here on the Rich Eisen Show. I read from Cleveland that you have told reporters on the record you'd be interested in the Cleveland Browns job. Is that still the case? Yeah, I'd love to listen to what uh, Mr. Dorsey and Mr. Haslam have to say. I've always had this fondness for Cleveland, and I wanted that job almost every time it came open and never got an interview. Uh, what do you like about Cleveland? The number one thing, Rich, is their fans. You go to a Browns game, it's full. And they went, what, three and... 50 or whatever it was, uh, some crazy number the last few years. I mean, just great fans. Is there any possibility that we see a Step Brothers sequel? I mean, let's, we haven't never talked about this face-to-face uh, -face in public. No, we haven't. <laughs> let's, let's break some ground here. Uh, are we going to do Step Brothers too? I, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't yeah. think <laughs> it's going to happen either. <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. Put up the Photoshop anyway. I mean, oh. You know, there's me there is the third you one. You make sense in that world somehow, Rich. <laughs> no. Oh, <okay>. no. <laughs> For more Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Rich Eisen Show app.